Now we're going to have a look at a very, very important technique involving the register key. Now the register key is the long key here at the back of the clarinet. Now it's quite possible that when you've been learning you've hit this accidentally and you've made all kinds of squeaks and funny squawks because of that. But we're going to learn to use it properly now. Starting on the note C, the way I teach this at school I cannot do for you on a video. Because what I do is I get the pupil to play the note C with a big firm sound and then I reach round the clarinet and press the key for them. Now what that does is they're playing the C, they don't move or alter anything and that key opens and suddenly the note jumps up and it sounds like this Now, if you've got somebody knocking about the house or you've got a friend who's available switch off the video and go and get them and ask them to come and help you and watch this video so that they know what to do you play a very firm note, very firm C, nice big 40 sound. And don't change anything, this is the most important point. Don't try to make the note go up. Once the register key is opened, as long as you've got a nice firm embouchure and a nice, breath of pr a nice firm breath of air, the note will go up. Just ask your friend to press that key for you by reaching around the clarinet, make sure they don't touch anything else. Press that key, but don't let don't ask them not to let on when they're gonna do it. They've just got to do it. So you blow your blow your long note and they'll press that key for you at random. And what's happened is you will get that. And then what you want to do is play the B flat. Same thing, don't you touch that key, ask them to do it for you. Then A, then G. And that's the technique for getting up into the high notes. Now, when you've got to do it, it's very important you don't move your hand. Now the most common thing that happens is when people go to press the register key, it, the rest of the hand moves. These fingers might come off or you might hit the G sharp key by accident. What you've got to do is try and keep your hand relaxed, not immobile, but relaxed. And then with your thumb at a 45 degree angle, you just press the key like that. If you've got particularly small hands, you might find you have to move your thumb up the key a little bit like that. The other disadvantage you may have is if you've got a cheaper clarinet, sometimes the gap between the thumb here and the speaker key can be quite large. If you've got a large gap here, it makes it more difficult. Uh, on a finely machined expensive instrument, you find that there's hardly any gap at all. It's very easy for me to press the register key like that. So just practice that. Once you get the feel for it happening, practice it yourself. Just tap the register key. You don't even have to open it all the way. You just open it a little bit and the note will go up. Mm -hmm.